Hey guys, welcome back to Chios TV. Thanks again for stopping by for the next video. In today's video, I'm doing one of my spirits' least favorite subjects, Spanish. Cause somehow I could never, cause somehow I could never like retain the knowledge for Spanish, like retain my vocabulary and stuff. And just if I could only retain what I've learned, I would be successful at this. So part of my CSEC slash CXC subject strategies strategies is <laughs> part of my CSEC strategy for exams is a focus on subjects which I'm weak in and I'm not that good in. Yeah, I'm not that good in. Yeah, so Spanish is one of those. So I'm focusing on it today. It is not a study with me. It's not an hour long. It's basically me just showing you some clips. And it's going to be short. This video is going to be short because these clips are short. I'm basically going to be doing some grammar. I'm going to basically be doing some homework and writing down some notes. At the same time, I'm watching some videos because videos is the way to go to remember Spanish. It's sad because I love Spanish, but I could never see myself remembering anything. And that's because I don't practice Spanish on a daily basis. I need to practice Spanish on a daily basis in order to remember everything. If I only practice it on a daily basis, I'm sure I'll be able to remember everything. So stay tuned if you're interested and make sure to give a like, a comment or subscribe down below. So I recognize after filming this that there's no audio for this part, but I was basically talking about the Spanish syllabus. I was looking for some grammar tenses we need to for the exam and some other stuff. I normally don't do this on a regular basis, this is just for the video, but if you guys would like to know what you have to know for the exams, you can check the mother language syllabus, I might leave a link in the description below, you could just go on the CXE site and you'll get the mother language syllabus. So if you want to know what's going on, you could just check that out. Okay guys, this is going to be a little long. I uh, just started there with the passive voice and just remember what the passive voice is and I found something that I kind of don't remember I'm diving deep into it and I'm going to watch a 30 minute video so I'll check in with you guys after the video is over I'm really trying to be ready for exams so let me just show you guys it. I just finished watching a 30 minute long lesson from Butterfly Spanish. If you don't know her, I've been watching her before I even enter secondary school to start beginning studying Spanish because my father speaks Spanish. When he was here, I tried to like learn some Spanish using her lessons. But if you guys don't know her, I'll link the video I watched down below. But it simply was learning present, past, and future of Sarah Esther, Tine, and Eve. And like, great explanation. Um, has some good factors to make it a little bit easier if you're getting a hard time remembering those stuff. So I'll leave her channel link below in the description. You guys can check that out. But you see, you see, when I start to study Spanish, I know I'm preparing for exams, CSEC exams. I don't really study Spanish because I'm basically acquiring knowledge which will allow me to at least pass the exams. I'm not really learning anything really i'm learning something the same or what i've done for the past two years with spanish or five years because i'm learning since form one because i'm learning since form one is in vain no and the lessons i'm taking part in they're not in vain but watching her lessons i feel like i need to be in mexico i need to be in front there on a desk learning surrounded by the language you know i don't know if anybody else out there feels the same as i do but i could excel faster if I am consumed in the language. If I speak the language on a daily basis, which I do, which I do not, which I do not, I do not speak the language on a daily basis. Being honest, I do not practice on a daily basis and that's my fault. That's a me problem. That's not my lesson teacher problem, my teacher's problem. That's nobody's problem. That's my problem. And the thing is there's so much to get ready for. There's so much you want to do that it's kind of a challenge to be able to practice Spanish on a daily basis. But what I'm saying, since 
studying because one of my past lesson teachers told me that I'm not studying Spanish. I'm basically acquiring any knowledge to pass an exam. I'm not really going in depth to the language. I'm just, they're just teaching me enough to be able to pass the exam. So, in order for me to like excel at this language, I think I need to be consumed in it. Obviously, you need to practice every day, which I don't. I'm sure I'm going to be practicing coming down to this exams. I'm sure I'm going to be practicing at least close to every day. Hopefully, I'm not holding myself accountable for that. But yeah, I think I feel the same way. Like you could really excel at Spanish if you just was in a native land. Just comment down below or like this video. Let me know. <laughs> And also, if you guys learn by watching videos other than reading articles, comment down below. Because, like, I'll quicker pick this up by watching and listening to it rather than reading through article. I could still pick it up through article, but it'll just be slower than watching a video. So, I'm copying down all my notes from my Spanish class yesterday. So, that's my next thing. But, guys, I really kind of lost track when I started today because like the first time I've started studying Spanish like hardcore in a while and all these things I saw when I was researching popping up just had my brain going I'm just like I want to learn all this I want to learn all this but I don't have all that time I only have like two hours to study Spanish I have to go out just now so like I'm gonna copy down more notes later on but you guys can see that because by the time I'll be this video will be over and yeah, no, I'm just fixing up my notes from lessons yesterday and that would be it because by that time I have to leave so thank you guys if you're still watching this video just stay tuned because I'm new here at this platform and like I didn't start this channel this year I started this channel when I was like a child naive and wanted to be a YouTuber I always loved YouTube and I just I also was by myself, so I never really got any motivation. I always try to motivate myself. But this year, I'm not dealing with motivation. I'm dealing with discipline. And I made a conscious decision that I want to do YouTube. And like a I'm going to stick to it. So, thanks again for stopping, staying with me. I hope you guys are like preparing for your exams because guys we're just a few weeks away from it and i know the, ans the anxiety around this exams i know i personally feel like we are guinea pigs and we're going to like be experimented on cx is like using us as guinea pigs seriously because we don't know what's going to happen i still don't know how they're weighing these papers that one paper that they're giving us i'm just i just have so much questions around this thing and cx and the Ministry of Education here in Trinidad. I just have so much questions that need answering. And like, nobody knows anything. They can't go to your teachers because they're like, they're basically telling you, worry about that. Just worry about doing your exams and whatever happens after that. And I understand. Yeah, you don't want to beat up yourself around certain things while you're on exam. But I'm a person, I like to know what's coming after. I like to not exactly know everything, but know something that's coming after, so that um, I don't just get caught a surprise. Because who wants to be caught a surprise and not prepared? No one likes it like that. Is it? Yeah. I don't know if I'll play another video with Spanish, because guys, Spanish is not not my subject. I hate. I don't hate Spanish, but it's not the subject that I'm best at. I'm not good at it to say that. I love Spanish, but I'm not good at it, basically. And I could get good at it, but I could get good at it, but just not in the setting and stuff. But there's other videos I'm going to be posting, like preparing for exam situation, you know, like my accounts. I'm good at my accounts. I'm good at my business. I'm free at my IT and what else? Music. Physically, yeah, maths. I'm fair at maths, English. I'm fair at English. I mean, I could pass them, but I'm not a geek. I'm not a geek to like really be competitive with other people and things. That I'm not a geekish. I'm like, okay, if you're good, you're good. You answer the questions. I'm giving you the mic. I'm not gonna be like, I'm not overconfident now. Try to see. 
So I don't like bust my brain, stay up all night and study maths. Seriously, no. Like, yeah, if you really want that grade, like I really want the one, but I'm sure I can get the one without busting my brain whole night and staying up constantly studying maths. I could just need to be disciplined and spend enough time, like two hours for a subject, two hours. I end up spending more than two hours. I mean, if I have the energy by the time the night comes, I stay up for Jan exams. I stayed up until in the morning studying Spanish and I still failed it, being honest. I just, I got a four in Spanish. But the rest of the subjects I got, I got a pass. I passed with them. So I stayed up spending studying Spanish, studying all those subjects. I was lucky not to pass them because I was working. This exam has really, this this whole pandemic with our exams has really upset me. I I understand the seriousness around COVID-19, but being honest with you guys, I say open back the place. So guys, I'm finished with my contextual dialogue and I wrapped it up. So today I I learned or revised the present, past and future of the verb ser, ser, tener. I went over the passive voice. What else to do? I write down some of my notes from class and I did a contextual dialogue.